about to demonstrate the magic of Evo Shield. How it goes from a soft gel, pliable pad, air activates in 20 minutes, turns into your own battle armor. I'm going to have a man Stefan smash this mirror so you see it's real, and then smash me in the ribs. The magic of Evo Shield. Welcome to another edition of Inside Press Box. I'm your host, Stan the Fan Charles. This week, we'll hear from recently retired former Ravens kicker, Matt Stover, partly about his amazing career, but also about a company he's involved with, Evo Shield, which makes athletic equipment like you just saw, designed to lessen the likelihood of serious injuries. We'll also show you footage from last weekend's Repel for Kidney Health at the Canton Crossing Tower where you could find me and Benny Thompson rappelling down all 17 stories of the building to raise money for the Kidney Foundation of Maryland. But first, I'll talk to my friend. Actually, I've just met him. But Mike Gimble is a friend to all, the director of Powered By Me, a program which encourages athletes to play fair, safe, and sober without the use of per performance-enhancing drugs. Mike, thanks for stopping oh, by. It's good to see you. I feel like I do know you. <laughs> How long have you been doing the Powered by Me and maybe more important than that one program, the whole effort? Well, I've been involved in, in substance abuse, education, prevention, treatment for over 30 years. And I'm a recovering addict myself. I grew up in Baltimore. It's my home. And I've been fortunate enough to, to be able to uh, be in recovery and also give back and at the same time, uh, I've become a marathon runner. That's uh, about pretty 14 amazing. years ago, I've run the Boston Marathon eight times. And so, you know, bringing together my love of sports and my recovery led me to work with Congressman Elijah Cummings, St. Joseph Medical Center, in developing Powered by Me to reach young athletes. Now, the, the one word you didn't really use there, you did say you're a recovering addict, but is addiction. How much of the recovery is, is replacing a negative or de destructive addiction for something that's more positive, like you're running rather than taking drugs? You know, I think one of the things we've learned over the years about addiction, no matter what it is, gambling, drugs, sex, alcohol, is that it does impact the brain. It does change the brain. And when you stop that particular behavior, the compulsion is still there. So what we try to do is find alternatives. You know, I'm a maniac when it comes to running in my marathons and working out, but it's better than what I was doing years ago with drugs. And we do that with kids, we do that with adults, and, and looking at alternatives, you know, and be able to do something positive. Now, yeah. when you give the message, and I know you, you have a lot of high-powered guests, you had uh, Commissioner Roger yeah, Goodell, yeah, that's yeah. gotta be as high-powered as you get in terms of their position in life. Mm -hmm the message can be even more powerful from somebody lesser than Roger Goodell. But you must give the message because you're a recovering addict. You look as far from an addict as anybody I'd seen. You look like a nice Jewish guy like me from Pikesville or something like that. Does it resonate with these kids you talk to or young adults that you were an addict? Well, you know, I, I, there's times when you learn to tell your story that's appropriate. There's sometimes that being a marathon runner is more impressive yep. than being a recovering addict. But the point is, is they know that I know what I'm talking about. And these days with kids who are drinking so much and the campus activities of drugs, and I know where I, you know, I've been there. So I know what I'm, I, I can give them the advice so they don't fall into a, into a manhole and to make the mistakes that I made. And so they know where I'm coming from. You know, I'm not a cop, I'm not trying to preach to them, but tell them like it is. Here's what I did, and here's what I hope you don't do, and here's the way to do it properly. How did your relationship with Congressman Cummings come about, number one? And boy, that must be a heavy hitter when, you know, Mike Gimbel tries to get the commissioner of football to talk before a group of high school kids. It's different than Congressman Cummings saying, hey, Roger, I need you in Woodlawn. Congressman Cummings is an amazing, amazing man. He yes, loves he sports, and he has supported Powered by Me from day one. As you know, he was very involved in the hearings on steroids. 
At that time, he came to St. Joseph Medical Center and met with their board of directors and says, we've got to do something to reach kids. We're not going to stop this cycle of drugs and sports unless we get to the young kids. And St. Joe said, yes, they contacted me. We all worked together. We came up with Powered by Me. And Congressman Cummings, as you said, he's the one. He's brought us Alex Rodriguez last yep. year, the commissioner of football. We've had Ray Lewis, you know, Nick Marcakis, Brian Roberts, anybody that w we can bring in to talk to kids at our conferences and at our seminars. Well, it's important know. we're putting up on the screen right now the uh, URL, www.poweredbymemd.org, and uh, that's a pretty powerful message you got there on there. It, the differences between, are, are all these addictions exactly the same, Mike? In other words, the same triggers, the same kind of focus that people have on them? Well, again, addiction, I always say addiction is addiction, no matter what it is. It, it comes from a lot of the same places, the impact on the brain, the compulsion. You can be, it's obsessive compulsive behavior. You can be, you know, uh, addicted to anything if you do it long enough, you know, and if it becomes an issue in your life. I don't care what it is. So, yeah, so whether it's gambling, whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol, you know, it's funny. I've been lucky in my career to work with great athletes. I worked with Dennis Martinez from the Orioles. Oh, you were, okay. He you was an alcoholic. Working, that's in the mid-80s. Yeah, we yep. had him in Shepherd Pratt. He, I took him around to schools to talk. Right. He told me, he said, you know, I was an alcoholic. I was addicted to alcohol. If I went out and won, I would drink. If I went out and lost, I would drink because he was an addict. And that's what it's about. So it, it's a big part of athletics because of the, ex, you know, the exercise and the energy, you know, and the dynamics. They're very vulnerable to addiction. All right. I want to have you on again sure. and Be my try pleasure. and get Congressman Cummings. Mike Gimble, Powered by Me. It's an important program in this city and state. This portion of Inside Press Box has been brought to you by the Maryland, ironically enough, the Maryland Lottery's double play scratch off. Scratch the front, peel the back, plus enter. Non-winning tickets at mdlottery.com slash double play for a chance to win cash and great Orioles prizes.